What's going on guys? It's your boy Nick coming at you on the channel today with a live box opening of the brand new Power of the Elements booster set. This set just released today at your local OTS tournament stores and officially goes on sale tomorrow at your local retailers. This set I've actually been really really anticipating not only because two of the best decks moving forward in the format are in here being Sprite and Tier Element but also because of all of the other just other support that we got for existing themes. Themes like Crawler, themes like Melfi, um, Morphtronics got support in here. Like this, this set is just really, really cool. So I decided to buy a box and I wanted to go ahead and open it for you guys today on the channel and see what we can pull. Um, for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Nick. We do live dual videos, uh, deck profiles, deck discussions, and apparently box openings. Um, if those are things that you're interested in, then I encourage you to like this video and subscribe down below. We just hit 400 subscribers and now we are making our way towards 500. Hopefully we can get there pretty soon. Um, obviously I won't be able to do that though without your guys' help. So please, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, do me a favor and smash the hell out of it so we can work our way up to 500 subs and I can continue bringing you guys really cool and unique Yu-Gi-Oh content. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and bust this box open and let's see what we can pull out of it. Um, honestly, I'm hoping to get some of the um, support cards for like Melfi, honestly, which should be pretty straightforward because uh, they're commons from what I know or they're pretty low rarity. Um, but with that being said, yeah, we're going to just dump right on in, guys. Uh, again, welcome to my channel. My name is Nick. Uh, we do all types of interesting Yu-Gi-Oh content, live duel videos, profiles, Sprite Smashers. This is another card, actually. I do want to do an update to Spriggans if I get a chance to. Morphtronic Earphones, another one. And we got Punk Jam Dragon Drive. This card is absolutely insane. And to be honest, might find its way in an updated version of FA Metal Foes. For those of you who are new to the channel and don't know, FA Metal Foes is a deck that I piloted for a long time. It's one of my favorite decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! And, um, you know, ever since the ban list, like, slaughtered, you know, Aurora Dawn and the, you know, uh, Dustbot combo, uh, I kind of put FA Metaphors to the wayside, but now that we got the punk cards, um, I might actually be looking to, ah, oh, here's Mary Melfi's. Uh, this is the brand new Melfi Synchro that's really, really strong for the theme. Um, but anyway, getting back to what I was saying about FAs, um, I might be updating that deck finally pretty soon. So stay tuned on the channel for those profiles. I think I'm going to be doing updated profiles on Spriggans, Melfi, obviously. So stay tuned for that. And for the first time, I might be bringing crawlers to the channel. So if those are things that you guys are interested in, then like I said, like this video, subscribe down below so you don't miss when I upload those profiles. Um, let's say we pulled an Exosister Returnia. Exosisters are another up and coming deck. Uh, Sprite Red, Tier Element Merely, Melfi Penny. Now, here's my problem with this. This is called uh, Melfi Sealy, I believe, uh, in the OCG. Maybe I'm ignorant. I, I don't know. What is a penny? If somebody wants to chime down below in the comments, why, why does the TCG insist on butchering the name translations for a lot of cards? I mean, we had like Bloody Rose Dragon switched over to Ruddy Rose Dragon in the TCG. You know, we had Mutant Mutant. Uh, or Mutant Mutator in the OCG, it's called Mutant Mutant here, like, it, they'd be doing all kinds of goofy stuff, and unfortunately, Melfi Sealy, aka Melfi Penny, happens to be one of those uh, cases where uh, the TCG name translation didn't do it any justice, so uh, let's go ahead and continue diving into our box. Ugh. Let, us, let me know down in the comments below, guys, what if you purchased uh, any boxes of this set and what you were hoping to pull. Oh, uh, Vendred has uh, got support, too. Another really cool theme. Got Crosskeeper, Vanguard, Most Distant, Deepest Depths. This is actually the field spell for the brand new TCG exclusive. Uh, Goaty, a.k.a. Fish archetype. Uh, something that I actually might be putting together pretty soon and potentially combining with Mutant. So yeah, Goaty Mutants. Oh, here's Punk Jam Extreme Session. Punk has a field spell now. It's really, really crazy. Um, so yeah, uh, I might also be putting together a Goaty Mutant variant, which I know sounds really interesting. So like I said, if you guys want to, you know, support me, like this video, subscribe to the channel. And like I said, I'll continue doing really cool and unique content because I feel like a lot of 
um, you YouTubers are like focusing on like meta relevant stuff, and and that's fine. But you know, there's over ten thousand cards in this game, so there's bound to be decks for everyone and everybody. Uh, here's one of the Vernacil for AKA Vernalizer cards in the OCG. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know too much about what they do. Um, I'll have to read these cards. Um, Askan, another Bicorn Goaty, Tear Element, Rika, Melfi, Wallaby. Uh, <clears throat> Hopefully we get some pretty cool hollows, uh, you know, as far as our secrets. I know there's like a couple of dud secrets in the set. Nether, Mary Mel. Oh, here's the Crawler card. This card is nuts. It looks like I'm kind of spoiling it, but we got an Ultra in this pack. Uh, Vernalizer, or Vernacil, excuse me, of the Flourishing Hills. Again, I'm not too sure if these cards, like, let me know in the comments down below if you think Vernacil for Vernalizer is pretty strong and maybe what I could potentially uh, make with it. So that is our first Ultra out of our box. We're going to be working to speed things up a little bit here so we're not just looking at commons. Morphtronic. Another Vernasylph card. Super rare. <clears throat> I noticed a lot of the cards have like damage to the corner out of the pack. Konami really needs to like fix their quality control. Like, look at this card. It's got like a nicked corner already. It's like um, a piece missing up here. It's kind of sad. I mean, you spend so much money on product and then it's like the cards you get are all screwed up and damaged. Crawler Soma, Ika the Flame Buddy, as our super rare. Mortar Element, another Goaty. Uh, but yeah, the Vendred stuff's actually really cool. Um, I have to look into that and see what uh, some of the new Vendred cards do, because um, that may be something I might also want to bring to all. Oh, Moray of Avarice, here we go, is another Ultra. It's a brand new draw spell. Exclusive to the TCG, uh, you banish a face-up fish, sea serpent, or aqua monster you control to draw two cards. Card seems really good. My only gripe is that I wish you could banish them from hand instead of having it needed to be one that you control specifically. Because um, I feel like, you know, now you got to commit a body to the board. But that's just me being nitpicky. Um, I think the card is going to work just fine, especially in the goatee theme. Um, moving on... Albaz the Ashen. All right, so this is a brand new version of Fallen of Albaz. Um, not as good as the original. I think this guy, he's got some interesting effects. He can, like, special himself from the graveyard. If there's a fusion monster that mentions Albaz's material in the, in the graveyard. Uh, but it, the artwork's pretty sick, so that's pretty cool. I'll definitely have to read into that and see if it's worth running in anything. Right, more Vernalizer, Life Extreme. Hey, oh, speaking of the devil, here's the Vendred Ritual, Vendred Scavenger. I gotta say that the artwork on this looks absolutely incredible. Like, really good, cool artwork by the Konami design team on that one. Oh, Melfi Penny again. We already talked about the name change, but Melfi Penny is a really strong, very underrated tuner monster for the Melfi theme. Like, it's absolutely insane. Uh, oh, looks like we got a secret rare, an Exo Sister Martha. You know, giving me uh, Batman versus Superman vibes. Uh, why did you say that name? But uh, this is our uh, Exo Sister is actually a pretty cool theme. Uh, it's nice that we pulled the Martha though. That's really sweet as our secret rare. So let's put that off to the side. Now this is the last pack of the packs on the right side of the box. So we have, oh, Sprite Jet. Um, this is really cool. Sprites are obviously a brand new TCG exclusive, or not TCG exclusive, a brand new uh, archetype out of Power of the Elements. That's, they're paving, they're, they're looking to be, you know, tier one to tier 1.5 as far as, um, you know, the deck's power level is out the box. It's just absolutely insane. All the, every card is like an, an extender and they all like, you know, search into each other. They're very consistent. And they just abuse the living hell out of Totally Awesome, which, who doesn't like that, so. This is another really busted card, Mathmech Circular. This card makes Mathmech actually a competitively viable strategy. A uh, very strong support card for the Mathmech theme. Uh, really nice that we were able to pull that. <clears throat> Let's get into the rest of our packs. Hopefully you guys are enjoying yourselves today on this Thursday. Oh, we got Scareclaw Lightheart. There we go. As our Ultra Rare. This is another really cool um, Link monster for the Scareclaw theme. 
uh, it allows you to search uh, the Scareclaw Field Spell, which in return that Field Spell can search a Visa Starfrost or another Scareclaw monster. So that's pretty cool. So that is our third Ultra out of our box. Very cool to see that. Moving on. <clears throat> Shif, Fairy of the Godi. Again, this is Godi's a TCG exclusive archetype. Um, like I said, I may be interested in combining that with uh, Mutant. I feel like there's some hidden synergy there that people are sleeping on. So stay tuned. I may be bringing you guys a very unique deck profile on the channel. Um, but moving on, Scatter Fusion. This must be the uh, Brilliant Fusion, like, uh, or Gem Knight support. Yeah, pretty cool artwork. We got a few more commons, another Melfi Penny, which is really strong. A Crawler Soma, this card is so crazy. I cannot wait to bring you guys Crawlers to the channel. Hey, our secret rare is Draco Utopian Aura. This card is actually really cool. Uh, it's a counter trap. Their artwork just looks absolutely incredible. This might find its way in my... Um, a Metaphist deck that I recently uploaded to the channel, aka Trap Fist, because it's a trap focused strategy. And uh, this card allows you to banish a monster from hand while also negating a, um, a monster effect on field. So uh, there's some pretty cool hidden synergy there. So that is our second uh, secret rare out of our box. Like I said, this set's pretty cool. Um, I mainly wanted a lot of the commons and super rares and a few of the ultras. Let's see what else we got. A uh, tier elements as a Shiren, or Shiren as our super rare. Tier elements are. Don't even get me started on that deck. That deck is absolutely disgusting. I cannot believe Konami was printed cards that they make Light Sworn look like child's play. It's scary. Uh, Scareclaw Straddle, brand new uh, Scareclaw super rare. And we got Brilliant Rose, Goaty Chain. All right. Few more packs left in our box, guys. Let's see what we can finish off with. Hey, Paces, Light of the Goaty. So hey, we got our Goaty um, Tuner Monster. Really cool, or the, we already pulled one, but this is the other Goaty Tuner. Very interesting card. Like I said, I'm very excited to bring you guys um, uh, Goaty Mutant uh, profile. And it's kind of funny because the thematality already is there, you know, between the Goaty being like fish from space and mutants being, you know, aliens or a mutation from space, which is kind of cool. N Wave, because of course, you know, Elemental Hero has to still get support all these years later. Um, you know, I'm not going to like bash any of the hero players. I know you guys are diehards, but, you know, you would think that an archetype that has over 200 cards in theme would at some point be meta relevant. And, uh, it just seems to me like Heroes just always been rogues, at least in recent memory, of course. I'm sure that there was times in previous formats where Hero may have been a viable Tier 1 threat. But like for the time being, uh, Heroes are just a really strong rogue deck, and they've always been, despite them having like the biggest archetype in the game as far as like actual named support goes. But uh, keep moving. Gem Knight Lady Rose Diamonds. Here's the new Gem Knight Fusion. Very cool. Another Askan by Corn Goaty. Curious to see how the Godi archetype turns out. You know, I know sometimes TCG exclusive archetypes are hit or miss, but I think Godi is also a very unique start. And it, um, you know, obviously if they get more support next set, which they will be, I think the deck can only get better. So I'm looking forward. Here's Gem Knight Quartz, very cool super for Gem Knights. And now we're gonna get to our last pack, guys. Last pack here of our Power of the Elements box opening, and let's see what we can end on. And we got an Engage Neo Space as our super rare in the last pack. So let's go over our ultras, or I'm sorry, our hollows real quick. We got a decent amount of supers. Uh, Engage Neo Space, Gem Knight Quartz, Gem Knight Lady Rose Diamond, N Wave, Scareclaw Straddle, Tier Element Sh uh, Sheeran, Scatter Fusion, Shift Fairy of the Goaty. We got Mathmex Circular, Sprite Jet. Vendred Scavenger, we have Albaz the Ashen, Ika the Flame Buddy, Vernasilf Corolla, not to be mistaken for Toyota Corolla, oh, no lame joke, 
uh, Punk Jam Extreme Session, very strong field spell, Exorcist to Returnia, and the Punk Jam Dragon Drive. Very happy that we pulled this, because that is definitely a must-have if you're going to be on Punk in any capacity. And then for our Ultras, we pulled Paces, Light of Goaty, Scareclaw, Lightheart. I love the artwork on that card. The chibi art is really, really cool. Uh, Moray of Avarice, very strong draw card for Fish, and Averna Sylph, uh, The Flourishing Hills. I gotta say, these, the artwork on this card just reminds me of like Easter or something. Very cool artwork. Um, and then for our secrets, we ended up pulling a Draco Utopian Aura and a Exo Sister Martha. Still pretty cool. A little bit lackluster though, as far as the secrets go. I wish, you know, we. There's so many good secrets in the set, and of course, you always pull like the ones that really aren't worth that much. Um, but either way, I'm not complaining. I'm very happy with my pulls. The Draco Utopian Aura I'll definitely keep. The Exo Sister Martha I may end up selling or trading. Um, cause I don't foresee myself building Exo Sisters, but, uh, either way, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for checking out the box opening. Like I said, stay tuned, um, for future deck profiles on the channel, uh, updates to Melfi are definitely coming up soon, along with a potential update for Spriggins, as well as, uh, a potential update for FA Metal Foes. So that'd be cool to see that deck make a return to the channel. And then as far as newcomers, uh, I will be, uh, considering doing a crawler deck so stay tuned for that and um yeah and then like i said i may also be bringing a variant of mutant with uh some of the goatee support or goatee cards from the new set which i think uh, goatee mutants might be uh, a lot better than some people may think uh but yeah like i said guys thank you so much again like this video subscribe so we can reach that 500 subscriber benchmark and uh we'll catch you guys on the next video